All right, welcome everybody to this demo of the Fellow AI Meeting Copilot. So I think we'll just start by inviting the copilot to join our meeting. So we're in a meeting, so this is our agenda, all the talking points, our action item section, our notepad at the bottom. And what you'll notice is there's these suggested actions. So one of the suggested actions is start recording. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that. And as soon as I do, you can see the Meeting Copilot is now joining this meeting. And soon you're gonna see it appear Manuela is the host of this meeting, so she's going to have to let the co-pilot in. She'll I get a notification. Did. Yes. Oh, excellent. So we should probably start off by talking about, you know, why we built the Copilot and what makes it so significant to be inside a fellow. So fellow is the leading meeting productivity platform. People use this to help them spend less time in meetings and make meeting time productive, whether those are one on one meetings, team meetings, town halls, project meetings, and everything in between. And so people have been using fellow for their meetings since the beginning of time. And now with the advent of AI, fellow is doubling down into bringing a lot of that AI value directly into Fellow. So everybody knows Fellow as the product that's there when you need it. Whenever you have a meeting, Fellow is there at that time. And the same with the Fellow meeting co-pilot, it's going to be there to help you every step of the way. The thing that I want to point out is that the meeting co-pilot is an integrated part of Fellow. So hopefully what you're going to see in this demo is if you love Fellow before, you're going to love how this meeting co-pilot is integrated into all the flows that Fellow has. Again, it just makes Fellow the hub for all of your meetings. Our goal today is to show you a demo of the product. But in addition to that, we want to kind of show you some of the functionality. Exactly. So we want to show you the functionality of the AI Copilot in real time during this demo. And as a first step, I would like to talk about the action items that I'm going to take after this demo. So Aiden, after we're done recording this video, I'm going to edit the video. And then my second action item is to post it on the YouTube channel for our fellow users to watch. Do you have any action items for yourself? Yeah. So once this is live, I have a lot of fellow customers that I interact with on social. So I'm going to post this on LinkedIn and I'm also going to post it on X. One other thing is that I'm going to make sure to tell our head of customer success, Sarah, to also make sure that this goes out in an email to all of our customers so that they can also watch the video. And are there any decisions that were made during this meeting? I think the main decision for us as a company is we are going to double down on AI. So Fellow has been bringing a lot of value to our customers everywhere. Now with the addition of AI, it gives us so many more tools to make your meetings that much better. And I think it's going to give us every Everything we need to once and for all solve the meeting problem for everyone. So I think that's pretty good for a meeting, right? Great meeting. I wish all meetings ended like that. In fact, I think actually having the copilot in your meetings might drive that behavior, right? Of calling out action items and decisions at the end of your meeting. One thing I will say is if I hover here, it says meeting is being recorded. Recorded. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to stop the recording. And as soon as I stop the recording, obviously it's going to save the recording. The meeting copilot you saw just left the meeting. And one interesting thing that is now going to happen is that there is a start recording button at the bottom. And in the background, it is generating the meeting recap. And Aiden, while we wait for the meeting recap to be generated, I wanted to ask you about how you're using the AI copilot to have less meetings. So this is really important. One of the things that we believe in at Fellow is that only the people who are actively going to speak during meetings are going to be the ones that go to the meeting. But the only way that you can make that happen is to have a culture of always having all the meeting content recorded, transcribed, and summarized. And this way, people who are not going to be actively participating could just consume the information afterwards, get the action items afterwards. And there's a record of what was discussed. And you know, think of your town halls, project meetings, if you're ever double booked on anything, there's a lot of value that gets added. And on average, I think you know, customers that use fellow across their companies save something like 16 to 20% of their time spent in meetings. So the impact is actually quite large, and I'm excited to show you what it all looks like. So why don't we do that? I'm just going to click on this meeting recap, and you can see that it was a three minute and 16 second meeting. I can press play. And you can see that I already have it running at 2x. And one of the, my favorite things is you can run these as fast as 2.5x. Mm -hmm. The other thing is what you have here is the summary. So what did we talk about? It was an introduction to fellow and AI integration. That's exactly what we talked about. Fellow is integrating AI value directly into his product. Meeting Copilot is an integrated part of fellow. Fellow aims to be the hub for all meetings with the integration of AI. Excitement and anticipation to demonstrate the integrated AI functionality in the product. I mean, you can see that I'm excited. And you 
can hear it in the tone of my voice. But the really cool thing is you see that in the summary. So that's not an easy thing to do. And here's my, my favorite part about this. If you want to make changes to the summary, you actually have the opportunity to do that. You can press edit, make any changes you want to this text, and then save it. And once it's saved, that'll be part of the record. The summary is also offered here. So during the meeting, Ada introduced AI Copilot. If you want to make changes to it, so I think it may have misunderstood this part, for example, then what we can do is we can make that change and then it'll actually save it. So it caught our YouTube and social media. We're going to invest more in AI. All of that is directly placed into there. And then you also have the chapters. So you'll notice that the chapters are here. You can click to go to a particular chapter and the chapters are actually also shown in the video. So if I scroll here, this was the intro, functionality and action items, and then at the end, decision to double down on AI. All this stuff very, very well summarized in one place. One of my favorite things to do, Aiden, is when I don't remember what was decided in a meeting, sometimes I go back and those chapters help me find that part of the meeting really easily. I also look through the transcript, which is perhaps something you're going to show us next. That's a good point. So these are the highlights. And if you go to the transcript, what's cool about this is if I go, say I'm looking through the transcript and you know I want to see where we talked about a decision, I can go to that particular place. And that's pretty cool, right? So the other really cool thing is that you can copy a link. So if you wanted to send that clip to somebody, you can do that. It makes it really, really easy. You just click this, it copies the link to your clipboard, and there you have it. So the transcript becomes a very, very powerful tool for you to be able to review any information. And what about those action items that we saw under the chapters? Oh, yes. So these are suggested action items from the fellow meeting co-pilot. So it says, Manuela, to edit the video and post it on YouTube for fellow users to watch. And you see when I click the plus button, these are suggestions and it gets added to fellow. And we'll show you after the fact what it looks like when it's directly in fellow. I'm going to promote it on LinkedIn and X. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Ask the head of customer success, Sarah, to send an email to all. So I'm going to do that as well. You're going to implement Copilot in meetings to call out action items. One thing that I like about Fellow's AI Copilot is that it gives you the option to select which action items you're actually going to implement and add into the Fellow note for future reference. Yeah. And this becomes really interesting, right? Because think of all the meetings where you start, you'll say, oh, I'm going to do this thing. But then at the end of the meeting, you decide because of the context of the meeting that actually you're going to do something else. So what we want to do is we want to be on the side of caution. So we're going to suggest all the action items, but then you have the power to say, yeah, this one, this one, and this one. The other part, of course, is the decisions. So th these are really valuable and you can always look at this at the end. So we're going to edit the video, post it on LinkedIn, ask head of customer success, and of course, double down on AI to enhance the value and tools for making meetings better. Bang on. Super awesome to be able to like in, in one section, see all the decisions and all the important things in the summary. And so there's a lot more too. So you can do fun things like, you know, download this video. You can copy the link to the entire video. There's even the send functionality. As you know, Fellow cares a lot about privacy and how this information, you know, who gets to see it. And by default, it's only the people on the meeting invite, right? If you want to change that, when you click on that send button, you can change it from private to being workspace wide to anyone at your company, or you can make it public. So if you make that a public link, then you can copy that link and then send it to anyone and they'll be able to consume it. Super helpful. So I know our sales team has been using it for client meetings, for example, right? Meeting with clients, meeting with prospects, you can send the summary, send the action items and everyone gets access to the recording. The other thing I want to say is, again, this is all about the integrated experience. This video player is really awesome. You can turn on captions. So I'm going to click to turn on captions and you can see all of that content is there. And the other thing is a mini player. So this is really powerful. When I click on this, you see that the mini player is here. I can move it around and I can browse and scroll and use the rest of Fellow as I normally would if I want to make it bigger or smaller. You know, I'm able to do fun stuff like that. And whenever you're done, you can just kind of X out of it. So all in one integrated, I think that's the thing that, you know, everybody should take away, which is Bella was amazing before. This takes it to the next level. I don't have to use, you know, a hundred different tools to be able to bring all this stuff. Bella is that integrated all in one solution. The other beautiful thing is the action items we talked about are all posted and it even knew who to assign them to. So it auto assign them. You use some of the integration. Yeah. Action items, right? 
I love our linear integration, for example, which is our internal project management tool. So sometimes I send action items from meetings directly into linear project boards. That's always very handy. And Fellow is the only tool that allows you to do this. I could sit here for like 10 minutes listing all the integrations we have, but you know, all the common ones, Asana, ClickUp, Monday, Trello, Salesforce, HubSpot, it's beautiful. You just have the meeting, the Fellow co-pilot is going to take the notes for you, suggest the action items. You can post them to all the places. If you want the notes in the summary to go into your wiki, to Confluence or to Notion, it's going to automatically do that. This is only the beginning. It's going to do so much. So we kind of showed you search within the viewer. The other thing I want to show you is like, if you use our regular search and say I search for the word decision, by default it shows you the notes, but you can actually go inside the transcripts as well and see all the meetings where the word decision was mentioned in the, in the transcripts. And again, it's a holistic place to be able to search. Your privacy is respected. Only the, the meetings that you actually had access to are going to be there. So uh, going back to our meeting here, the one other thing I want to show you is auto recording. So if you want to record a meeting, you know that there's the start recording button. So let me go to this meeting that's conveniently called recurring meeting. Mm -hmm. And then I go to this one, you'll notice that there's something here that says auto record. So if you click on this, it's just going to automatically join and you'll see that now there's this icon over here, it's automatically going to record all of the meetings in that recurring series. So again, fellow really understands your calendar. So if you get it to put a setting for that recurring meeting, it's going to respect that. If you click on this, you'll kind of see this in our automations, right? So auto record is on, you can always turn it on and off. Aiden, I was going to say auto record is so helpful for recurring meetings. For example, my weekly team meeting, I like to auto record it. And sometimes I am away, right? And having that auto record functionality gives me peace of mind that the meeting will be recorded even if the meeting host is in there. Let's also talk about where else you can get auto record. Mm -hmm. So if you have our uh, Chrome extension, I just wanted to show you that at any point in time when you create a new meeting, um, so if I create a test meeting, I'm going to add you in and then you see our meeting cost calculator and everything else that, that we've built to make your meetings effective. But what you also see at the bottom is record and summarize. So if you turn this on, you can turn that on any meeting that you click on. And if you go to my Google Meet to kind of show you what it looks like in companion mode. Now I'm going to show you companion mode in Google Meet, but of course this works for Outlook. It works for MS Teams. So if I join this meeting, as you know, fellow is going to pop up side by side to where you are. And if you open it in, the start recording button is there. And again, if it's a recurring meeting, you'll be able to click on auto record there. So look out for those buttons there as well. As always, one of our motos here at Fellow is that Fellow is there when you need it and where you need it. So whether it is in your Zoom calls, in your Google Meet calls, the AI Copilot will now be there for you recording and transcribing those meetings. And with the auto record functionality, you don't even have to think about it. Yeah. So again, we're super excited to get this into everybody's hands. It's going to change the way you run your meetings. And if you like what you've seen, wait till you see what else is coming out this year. So have fun, check it out and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.